Oh, look at that cat! Look at that cat, guys! It, it, it got broken a little bit because I don't know what happened, but that was funny. What's up, guys? It's Tenkosh, and today we will take a look at the small idle game about cats. It's called Cats and Soup. So, we will go straight into the game. It's a fun game, it's a cute game, so you will probably like it as well. So, yeah, let's go. Basically, this cat here... Oh my god, this is so cute. It makes soup for us. And after this time, we got a small soup thingy. And we can sell it for money. We can use money for the upgrades. So, uh, we got the cooking soup cat. And we can make chopping carrots. There we go. And hire a new cat. Alright, there we go. Touch anywhere. Let's go. There we go. Our second cat is here. It's chopping carrots. Should help to make the soup better, I guess. So, let's sell the soup. Let's sell the carrot soup as well and see what will happen. Like, when the carrots are ready, they've been added to the soup and we get in the soup carrot, which costs more. Now, let's make a shade tree so the cats can rest. All right, they can rest here. You can earn recipe points while the cats are resting. That's nice. Can we upgrade this one a little bit? Uh, not yet. It's expensive. 28, 20,000. All right, might take a while. There we go. That cat that's cutting the carrots is resting right now. We're getting the soup without the carrots now. And I guess we will get some bonuses from here. I wonder. No, we can't upgrade this one either. And there we go. We got the uh, upgrade points. And now we can do the research. So, first of all, let's uh, create a treasure chest. Because why the hell not? What it will happen? Oh, we can watch ads in this chest. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, we got some stuff. That uh, I guess can be equipped on the cats. I don't know. Uh, the recipes. We can upgrade the blend soup. So it will give us more money. Now the normal soup is giving us the same amount of money as the carrot soup. Pretty dope. Let's sell it. And we got a frog here. We want to watch an ad to do that. I don't want to do that. Press on the cat. You can dress the cat and get her a straw cat. I mean... It's not the best idea to give this cat that reward. This is the chopping carrot one. So chopping carrot cat should get it. So we have three cats now. They're all making different vegetables and added it to the soup. So we get the soup with the cabbage, with the cabbage and the carrot, I guess. Let's take a look. Cabbage soup, carrot soup and the blend soup. So we are getting more and more recipes. Uh, take a screenshot and that will give us money. Okay, why not? Why not? That's dope. So, I think we are past the tutorial. So, now we can earn more. Summon the Jar Fairy. Alright, let's do this. So, yeah, most of those buildings that we have right now, the chest is giving us the rewards with the ads. The Jar is giving us the rewards with an ads. So, yeah, I don't want to use it right now. So, I will try to play it without the ads and see how it goes. So, right, while we are getting that those soups, Let's see what kind of ends we have. Seven days of gifts. So, uh, we got the reward here. Nice. Then we got another one. First anniversary login event. Alright. The game is out for a while already. We're getting even more rewards. Uh, let's sell all the dishes that we have. Bam. There we go. And we can upgrade the cooking soup level. So, probably right now, it will give us even more money. Uh, let's see. Cooking... Yeah, everything is done here. No, it's kind of cause the same. Probably it will be cooked faster. So we can upgrade the building and it will... Yeah, it upgrades the price of the soup a little bit. Just, just a tiny bit. I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Uh, but I've noticed one thing. That we have the wrong cat at the wrong building. So here we can get that first cat over here. Because it's uh, good with carrots. So it will have the faster carrot chopping and... Uh, Let's get this cat a different hat. Even more for carrots chopping. Nice. So now it will be really efficient at chopping carrots, basically. And we will get more carrots here. Efficiency. So I actually watched an ad because I'm too lazy to wait. So let's get a trampoline. Flipping air. Alright, it's good. So what happens here? Cats are flipping into the air and they are getting the bonus um, research as well here. Now we gotta expand our forest. Expand the forest to collect more cats. Nice, look at that, we got way more space and they want us to review the game straight away without asking. That's not nice. Um, let's get the bonuses and 
As you can see guys, there are, there are plenty of space and look at that cat. It's really enjoying itself. Uh, let's create more cooking areas, blending juice. Anything else we can create? Um, we can make more chopping carrots and cutting cabbage areas. That's nice. Getting the new cat here. I think you can get the random cat like that different different tiers like this one for example is good with carrots as well just like the basic cat that we have over there. So uh, I think we will build another carrot building for her. Oh we got the gift from the cat so let's open this one. Nice. We got some more research so randomly cats will drop you the gifts for this gift event guys. Nice. So guys we got some new buildings here we got the sloth booth. That's actually automatic ad skip from time to time. So, uh, yeah, after some time, like daily, you will get some free ads. Uh, then we get this observatory. We can summon a cat and we can select the one that we want to summon, by the way. That's actually pretty cool. So, there are different types of search. You can get the cat that you want. Like, for example, uh, this one. Then you click here and you got options. You can go for... Uh, find a different skill for a bunch of money. You can go for random search, uh, find a new skill and cook, look for a different cat, or new uh, look for the current cat. I don't know why would someone do that, and yeah. So there are options, but they're all expensive, but we, we can't afford it right now. Let's sell the stuff that we saved up. We finished the mission, we got the uh, special order missions here, they give us extra money for finishing the orders. And other than that, like, the cats are working, we're idling, that one is idling as well, let's take a screenshot. And, yeah, you gotta sell stuff. Uh, the progression is pretty slow, guys. Like, the next upgrade, the next buildings will be unlocked when we will get the putting up corn. And in order to get it, we need 100 billion. And uh, that's like... Uh, about... Uh, quite, quite a lot, basically. <laughs> that's like 50 times more than we have right now, I guess. So yeah, everything is kind of expensive here, so you will have to wait uh, even in the early game to get stuff or watch ads so you can go and uh, uh, do this, do this ad. So now you get the cooking speed doubled and after that you take this and you watch this ad for extra money. I mean, those don't sum up sadly, but that will help you to get some extra gold. And guys, yeah, I'd like to show you more of the game, but it will take so long to get there. Because uh, in order to get the corn, we need 100 billion. Even if we will use all the uh, time boost, let's actually do that. Item, use tickets, bam, use ticket, bam. It's still not even 1 billion, guys. So, in order to get to this milestone, I don't know, it will take a few days, I guess, or something. What do I think about Cats and Soup Tough? I've played it for a little bit. It's a pretty cute game. I like it. It's uh, a good idle game. I like the cats. Like, cats are my favorite. But the thing about this game that I don't like that it takes uh, a long time to progress. So even at the early game when you're supposed to hook the player, you can play it for like, I don't know, 30 minutes and then you can't, you have nothing else to do. So you gotta wait. Or you gotta, you know, just sell, sell all those things that you have and... I mean... Not much of intense gameplay, but but if you're looking for a really idle game that you open like once a day, that might be a good option for you because you can open it, sell stuff, close it, open it again after a few hours, sell it and such. So that might work for you in that case. Upgrades doesn't give you that much income, so uh, upgrading those buildings helps you, but so... Like the upgrades are so weak that it, you don't really feel them. It's better to save up for the better stuff, but you can't afford better stuff. Let's actually try to uh, spend all our diamonds for gold. Maybe we'll have enough. Let's see how much we'll get. So we need gold and uh, we have enough for 6 hours of gold and that will be 11 billion only, guys. Uh, 16 billion only. That's not enough. So uh, if we count it right, 6 hours times 10, it's 60 hours. It's about a few days of gameplay in order to get enough to unlock the next building, guys. That's that's rough. Of course, you can upgrade the stuff as you go. They will give you more income, but it won't be that crazy, crazy good, guys. Other than that, the game is pretty cool. If you like cats, if you, I like the graphics, it's really nice. Cats, animation is really good. If you, we turn off the music, like they will be mewing and all that stuff, so that's nice as well. There we go, you can hear them doing their 
cat thing, so that's pretty cool, I like that. And yeah, I actually saw this game beforehand and I wanted to try it, but uh, didn't have time and I'm glad that I actually managed to play it a little bit. Let me know in the comments how do you like this game, guys. While going there, don't forget to like this video and follow me here on TapTap to see more game reviews and first impressions of mobile games. If you like that, you'll see them here. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stan Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.